Hello, welcome back to MTDC and see you, my friends. We're at the SHOT Show today, a really fascinating show for those of you who are in this world. It is creative. We're talking innovation and automation and machines that matter and all of the partnerships that go into the manufacturing of not just specifically guns. You will see a lot of that here, but I've seen dogs walking around in Kevlar. I've seen backpacks that are huge with just about everything you can put into it. There's knives here. There's hunting equipment. There's all sorts of fun stuff here. Um, it's a great place for people to come together and actually sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get in I had to go through a lot of steps to get into this show So it's quite safe as well, which I think is important now I'm standing with my buddy Kevin and we're here with Hermalay to talk about how Hermalay can support gun manufacturing But then we're also going to get into the side of Hermalay itself and what separates them from some of the other machines out there Just for overall investment in case you guys are interested in that So Kevin let's talk about gun manufacturing and Hermalay specifically and then I'll segue you into some of the other parts of the conversation. Sounds great. All right, so we have some parts sitting here, raw blanks. We have some mostly finished pieces, it looks like. I got some cool shunk pieces here as well with some parts locked up in there. Let's talk about some of the unique attributes that Hermalay can do when it comes to gun manufacturing. Well, what we did here was we, we brought this out to showcase our automation. It's really the most important thing. So we're out here with our gun slide setup. We've got two ops one setup, right? So as you can see in the video, we're running OP10, OP20. We've got a robot flipping, loading parts, loading raw billets, and then offloading under the, into the, uh, the crate here. So automation is where we're kind of focused on today and in this setup because we know Hermalay for precision and reliability and decades of being able to keep that precision. You know, I was actually with one of your guys one time. I'm not allowed to say where we were and I'm not allowed to say who I was with, but trust me in this conversation. And it was your largest machine, I want to say the 60. Is that correct? The 62 or the 650, depending on what, what uh, line you're talking about. So I, the 60, I believe it was, and that thing, that spindle was huge. They jogged it all the way down. They checked the run out from the top to the bottom. Zero, and I'm talking microns, zero. So that is the reliability. But we're talking automation today, which is something we all need to get into in general. Op 10, op 20 on the same piece, so it comes off as a finished part. Is that how we're showcasing today? That's correct. We're gonna load a raw billet for op 10 and we'll flip it with the robot. We've got a dual arm end effector. So we're able to transfer the, the completed part into the, into the rack over here, transfer op 10 into op 20, and bring a raw billet in. So we're talking about this now, and we're talking about the gun aspect of it. Uh, the reason I want to bring up this next segment is because going back to the precision and reliability, we've talked about the automation, is because if we're going to automate and we're going to walk away from a machine, and when that part comes off, we want it to be good, don't we? Well, that's, I, I've been saying that all week. You know, customers are saying, well, I, I don't know if I can trust my machine to run all night without attending it, right? Well, I look at them and I go, well, maybe you bought the wrong machine. Mm. That's really all I got to say about that. And we're not allowed to say anything about that further either, but Hermalay is a high quality machine. Now let's talk about, you know, I've had conversations with some of your folks as well, and they always uh, kind of repeat the concept of it's all about that base. You've even caught me in videos singing, it's all about that. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah. I've been doing that a couple of times. So we know that there's some significant property to the granite base that goes along with the Hermalay. But what else sets you guys apart when somebody's thinking, well, there's a lot of machines out there. Let me talk about Hermalay. Let me think about Hermalay. Other than that cool thing we see where it's spinning like a top, yeah. what else sets you guys apart for the industry, for the audience out there that's in general just considering working with Hermalay? So I'm a real big fan of the culture in general. We put integrity of the company before we put the bottom dollar. That is probably the biggest thing that I talk about with every customer. I challenge any customer out there, go on to Google, go on to whatever you use for a search engine and search Hermalay service reviews search Hernley machine reviews and just go take a look for yourself. You know, I'm going to again give my own little testimonial here. Whether I'm supposed to or not, I'm not sure. But I had a long tenure with my friends over at Air Turbine Tools. And Air Turbine Tools has a great relationship with the Hermalay family. So I've had the personal opportunity to travel across the country with several of your sales guys for the past decade and go into the German facility, into the open house as a vendor and see truly exactly what you just said firsthand with the customers and also from the service side of the Hermalay family. So I can also back you up in saying what you've just said is absolutely true. Are there any other messages you'd like to convey to the audience today before we close this thing out? Well, people, the first thing people look at is they say, well, Hermalay's unattainable, right? It's really not. 
come give us a come give us a talk. Come come talk to us a little bit, and just we'll talk price. If you're really concerned about price, come talk to us because it's really not as unattainable as you think. That's exactly what I thought about my wife as well, and somehow we're still married 20 years later. Some things that you think are unattainable are actually attainable. Thank you all for watching. This is my buddy Kevin, and this is Hermelay Kevin. Thank you so much, my friend. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it.